So we've taken everything out of the box. We've laid it out here on the stuff we're gonna to assemble to put this together, all the different pieces. So you have two uh, poles, you have a handlebar and you have the base, and you have a computer. So it's important to pull the computer out first because it's gonna run through these center poles. So we take the wire that comes with it. If it doesn't come with a wire, you just find a wire yourself and you're gonna feed this through just like this, all the way down till it comes out the bottom. You're gonna leave it there. You're gonna take the front of the wire and you are gonna tie it on to the cable, the computer. You're gonna untangle the cable, just like this. So what you're gonna do is just kind of wrap it around a few times, just like that. So you're pulling on it and you're gonna feed the box right in. And this is gonna allow you to pull it through. Hit this box here. You're just going to carefully feed it through. The edges of this tube might be sharp, um, so be careful not to strip the wire off or you might short it out when you plug it in. You're just going to feed it through very carefully until it's all the way out. The bottom, as you can see, here it comes up, just like that. So now we're going to feed it through the next tube, which is this one. So you're gonna do the same thing. And this connects right into here. And then you can see you have different holes to choose from depending on the height you want. And then they'll just screw in the piece here that allows you to pick the height you want it at. I'm just gonna start with a tall height and see how that works for us. There you go. So now it's in the right spot. And then you're gonna untie the wire you're gonna take the cable and you're gonna come over to here and you're gonna plug the cable into the base. So there's already a connection run through the base here, as you can see. And you're gonna plug it in like this. And then you're gonna unscrew these screws with the Allen wrench that's provided pull these all the way out. To unscrew, you go counterclockwise. These washers will be bent because you're screwing it into a round bar. So they're gonna bend a little bit, not to worry. So this side is gonna face away. So you're just gonna run this up, pull up the top if you want. Be able to get it in without pinching the wire because so you don't wanna pinch the wire. And then you're gonna reattach all the screws onto each side and then you're going to just go around and tighten them so now let's jump to the handlebars so the top has the same thing two screws you're going to pull out you just get unscrew them same way make sure to not lose the washers they will have a lock washer on them as well so this piece goes facing away from you so you just reinstall the bolts Again, make sure you get them threaded before you screw them in. The Allen key, there you go. And then just tighten them down like this. All right, so now that that's on, your batteries go right back there. So you just unclip them and put them in. And then you'll notice a notch here. So this notch just slides on like this. And then your computer is set. So you could clip resistance bands right on here that it comes with. Um, and then the final step of assembly on this is you're gonna pull the right foot up. You're gonna see the cable, it has to feed around the wheel like this. And then you're gonna push it back down. And you'll know you got it right because if it's right, then the left side will go up. Just like that, and now you're all set to use it. So now that it's assembled, all you do to use it, you step up on it and then you alternate your movement. So you push down on one, push down on the other, and it should work just like this, where it goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So that's how you use it.